you probably would have seen the development life cycle uh, image if you are using yeah mlops uh, without mlops how your machine learning model is developed is, is given here so we are taking sample data data store is there whatever raw data that is available we take that pre-process it we do eda data analysis data pre-processing etc and then we build the model and for building the model we implement the split strategy we evaluate it uh, we validate it there should be a dotted line here we refine it and all that and then once the benchmarks are reached with respect to the accuracy we put that in a code repository this code repository could be your github or kind of github related uh, right? code repository softwares where your data uh, your data and code is getting dumped because multiple contributors will be there so from all these developers you are getting the final code here then comes your software team software development team which basically takes that model deploys it and as the end users start using the functionality they generate a lot of new data the model is generating the results data all that would be again stored back into the data store so that we can do the <coughs> performance metrics uh, basically the comparisons and all that so this is without mlops principles being followed because your data does not stop here right new data keeps coming in you are taking one version of data one one set of data for example one month's data isn't it say for example if i if i talk about 360 digit mg which is a, a tech company let's say we are trying to do some kind of analysis on 360 digit mg's data students enroll let's assume right number of students enrolling a program now i will take november months data or i would say one year data so from november 2021 to november 2022 till today i am going to capture one year data i will develop a machine learning model and i will predict my label data target data right now the question is is 360 digit mg stopping the business in 2000, november 2022 no right business continues what will happen in 2022 december there will be new data coming in Okay, you're saying, yes, 2022 December is new data. I'm going to do predictions. Right? I'm, I'm trying to do predictions of, on, the, on that data. Fine, you are doing predictions. But December is completely different month, holiday season. Or there will be some other competitors in the business. Or there could be some new programs launched by 360 Digit MG, which probably will have a lot of attraction. Right? A lot of traction from the students. So we never know business is very very dynamic so your predictions go wrong if you this if you see uh, new changes coming in because you're capturing the pattern in the data for last one year data only the new things were not recorded anyways you are doing predictions but those predictions are completely wrong fine this is a learning because we have launched a new program predictions are going wrong but what about the model that you have developed here? Don't you think that model has to also update itself? It also has to learn new things, right? Because you're saying December, the pattern was different. So if I have to use the same model to predict in January 2023, don't you think this information becomes very critical for the model to understand how the business changed or evolved. So what should I do in this case? Should I return, retrain the entire machine learning model again? So in this particular flow, you can see that CI, CD is not. And when we talk about machine learning models, continuous training, CT, 
is important right so that aspect is not there so we are going to dismantle this entire emotion learning model and re iterating the entire step uh, the process it's like new project altogether now so this time i will include 2022 data as well from the raw source of the data again flow uh, follow this uh, flow and develop the model store that in code repository then deploy it. now again in january 2023 new data comes in you do the predictions and all that but business will also be different you're not a god to get a 100% accurate model businesses will change so those changes again which are there in january 2023 should be taught to machine learning model so that it can be used for predicting better results in 2023 so this flow is missing now if i talk about with mlops strategies that is your continuous integration and continuous delivery these two stages have been tightly coupled in this there are two different stages you can see the dotted line that you are seeing here is separating machine learning model development whereas in this stage we are talking about deployment software team comes into the picture so this is a different team this is a different team two different disjoint units are working whereas here in mlops strategies you don't have disjoint teams these two basically are going to be the same teams it's like a single team working together these are not separated entities okay so you'll have a single store where for data analysis you are recording the data and you select the model data pre process select the model pre process uh, th this part is your anyways model development here automated techniques have come in then you are modularizing your code when you talk about modularizing code we are generalizing the code flow using pipeline concept that means any new data comes in has to go through these series of steps that that we are defining right pipelines have to be built so that you are not hard coding the uh, the uh, code on the data now once you are modularizing the code using pipelines you dump that in the repository github repository and of course even when the so the software development team is is trying to consume it it has to test right so you you are going to help them to test the uh pipelines that are developed right and all of this is considered as a single package software so this becomes your package store this is your final code it's like a package now if you everybody is familiar with python right so you know how packages are actually used they are reused it irrespective of data they are reused so we are going to ensure that the entire development is more like generalized as if it is a function uh, package these packaged pipelines will be deployed so irrespective of whatever the data is the solution should work right and once this is developed you can see again the training pipeline is there so irrespective of whatever is the data the same steps will be done automatically models will the final model will be registered and this final model will be used for servicing the end users the functionality will be used so you can see here this step after deployment we are not using the trained model we are using the pipelined model or package so that when new data is also coming in the new data is also coming in you will have the entire flow this flow implemented here so this is for experimenting and identifying what are the best sequence of steps this is your training process then you are modularization of the code happens where we are trying to generalize this flow 
and test that flow and then generalize it as if it is a package for reusability. That reusability code will be deployed. So you probably have developed this using data till November 2022. This is till point today. You you developed the code, right? And you designed our pipeline model and you are deploying that. Now, let's say this model has to be used for predicting Feb 2023 data. Now, in the previous case, the model would have been a model which was trained on November 2022. But now what is happening is there is no fixed model. You're not fixing the model, to the train the model. Yet. You're fixing the steps. So all the data till January 2023 will be used here for model development and registry. The final model which is developed on Jan 2023 will be used here. Right, and we are anyways consuming this data, restoring, the, uh, saving all the data and then putting that in the <coughs> data store. 